All right. So we created a fabric database. We loaded the fabric database. Now let's query a fabric database. That sounds like fun. Why the heck not, right? Right. I, I know some of this stuff may seem easy, but the functionality is there. It's kind of cool. If you didn't see it, I want to make sure you understand it. All right. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. You do the YouTube thing. You know what it is. All right. So I'm in my uh, my Fabric DB. It's up. It's running this, and now I've got the same UI that I would have in other queries or in other Fabric assets. I've got this great new functionality. I, I just click on New Query, and it works just like I would expect it to. So I can uh, select Ooh IntelliType. That's fancy, or IntelliSense, or whatever they call it. Star from. Uh, let's see here. DBO. Dot, ooh, dim customer. Uh, F5 does not work. Oh, F5 does work. Shut the front door. F5 doesn't work in most online URLs. So that's fantastic. Okay, so this works. That's great. But like, what about some of my more, uh, like, what if I want a better way to make it? Like, I don't want to write it all out. I could do still do select top thousand rows. Oh, shut up. Look at that. How awesome is this? Now, look, I can download the results to Excel. I can download as a CSV or download as JSON. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, no functionality like in the warehouse to like automatically open up a query like in Excel, but that's okay. Um, uh, I still get the whole you know text editor here. Uh, I, I can still go in and I can you know double tap double tap, you know, whatever, whatever it is, I'm, I'm not looking to have as part of my, uh, uh, you know, query, I can go ahead and, uh, and make those changes. That works just as I would expect with that top 100 functionality here. I have a few other things, so uh, like script is create, script is drop, you know, this would like give you the DDL to create the table. This would give you the DDL to drop the table. Um, oh, look at that refresh. Interesting on a table. Um, but generally speaking, uh, all the basics are here. I can go in and I can rename the tables. Maybe I should zoom in a little more, huh? Let's see here. All right, so I've got my, my query here. I can go and I could just rename this to uh, ad hoc query. All right, and now it's named that up there, as well as down below. I've got all my queries that are set up down below. Oh, look at that. So I can rename down here as well, but I can also create a new query from uh, down here too. Pretty awesome, pretty great, pretty easy. Notice though, uh, there is no visual query in the SQL side. So SQL is still much more of a classical editor uh, than you know than the modern warehouse or the lake house. All right. So still necessitates you to know SQL, right? So like if you don't know your SQL, I got videos around here to help get you up to speed with SQL, select from where are your basics, but you, you gotta know SQL if you work in data. Like I just, I've heard people say they don't want to, it's hard, it's not hard, it's easy. It's super, super easy. In fact, like some computer science courses, you should not teach it because they thought it was just so easy as to be like obvious as to how it works. But so it is pretty easy. There's some nuances and whatnot, but you know, you gotta learn how to do it. This is a great opportunity for, and great place for you to run, work, operate, test these things out in all in one place. You have the best day ever. Peace. That was a short one, right? That's okay. They don't, they don't have to be all long. You need help with this stuff. You're looking for training. You want help building something out. Head over to bakertilly.com slash digital. And myself or one of my buddies will reach out. We'll get you set up with a you know some consultants and whatnot. We'll help you get up and running. If you need additional help or you want to watch some other videos, I got two of them right here for you. Um, learn more. You can become a data cut too. <laughs> uh.